Welcome back to Nickelodeon's Comic Corner Classic Last Non Classics. This is episode number 2703. And. Is it 03? Um. No. It is. Uh, sorry about this. I just want to make sure I get the correct number here. It is 2709, double 2603. Okay, first up with a really bad comic, a really bad one, and a weird one. We're starting off with, here's the bad one, start with bad first, get the weird one afterwards. We have the piece of garbage, Tim Drake, Robin, volume two, case guest. No, the character himself is not a piece of garbage. The series is a piece of garbage. The awfulness that is Megan Fest Martin still is the writer of this book, because of course she is. She's the one who wrote all fucking issues of this series. But they changed the interior artist this one. Okay. Here's what they did with this one. Not only collected issues 7 through 10, but they also collected the DC Pride Tim Drake special. This special was a reprint of the stories that outed Tim Drake as by. I have listened to Chuck Dick's opinion on this. He didn't like this at all. Nope. He was strictly asked about this nonsense. Oh, by the way, on the main issues, now, the first six was done by Riley Ruspo, who was a good artist. And man, the artwork he did was awful. This one, tiny bit better. Not by much. It's done by Nicola Kazumagia. Uh, and Cirque Acuna. The sum of parts is the three-part awful story that Alex Tim Drake is by. Uh, Carol the Bats, it's Alberto Jimenez and Al uh, Alberto Jimenez, Albuquerque. It's allegedly the story was, was supposed to be, oh, Tim Drake was going to tell Batman he's by now. I read the story. That synopsis is a big, fat lie. By the way, collect the, like, this, this special, like, here's the thing, I like the artwork for this one, the artwork is fine, I love the artwork for this thing, um, Big Orga, good, I, I like the artwork for this one, that's the only thing good I can say about this story here, the spot the story itself is, is awful, because, in fact, this three-parter out of Tim Drake's buy because he had to date Bernard. Because, of course, oh, we can't create a gay character, so let's turn a character who's been straight since his debut appearance to buy. <sighs> it's so freaking stupid. So, what happens in the course of these four, ish these four issues of this awful series? Well, a lot of it is like, oh, Tim meeting Bernard's parents. Oh, yeah, and also because of the fact that he's gay, Bernard's parents decide to disown him. Yep, they disown him all because he told him that he is gay. Wow, what complete, utter stupidity. Okay, I at least got praised this much, though, is the fact that the artwork for these issues is better. Like... It looks better, like this issue here. The writing is still awful. The writing is still awful, but my gosh. It's like DC was so desperate. By the way, the villains issue are Wasp. Well, I find the Brother of Evil here, well, version of him anyways. Yeah. And then we have where it looks like, looks like Stephanie texting... Actually, I said it's his mom. Who apologized for his And then, the very next issue, it's like, okay, we had some good artwork for issue 7, and my gosh. They switched the artist with... Now, I have nothing against this person, but my gosh, this artwork is... It's... Yeah, and then we have just Bernard, Tim, and some lady. I don't know who she is. And Batwoman shows up. Yes, freaking Batwoman. Who is something amnesia? It's like whatever goodwill the artwork had at the first seven issue seven. It's like oh, we had the change, and of course we have 
where and then eventually she gets her memories back and then she starts acting completely irrational. Where she thinks like Bernard is not good for him. I'm like, yeah, and of course then we see him where he's like punching a bag. I think presumably he may have broken up with him. Presumably, and then Batwin shows up, fights him, and then the artwork gets really bad. Oh my gosh, this artwork is is atrocious. Yes, the the way this artwork looks, it looks so bad. I'm like, how the heck did the out of the green lift this? I thought this was good. It does not look good at all. It looks so distorted, and. The maze looks fine. They have maze in this issue. Yeah, it's like the faces. That's really turns me off. At least Batman looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have the Batman family show up to help out Tim. Deal with this one small problem. And that's a series. Thank you God that this series ended when it did. Because nobody liked the series at all. It's like for 10 issues, the arc was good for one issue, issue 7. They had the best artwork of the whole series. But then issue 8 came out, and yeah, now we're back to really bad artwork. And like, it's okay. First of which, DC. What the heck were you thinking greenlit this awful piece of garbage? Why, because, oh, because Megan Fritz Martin outed Tim as bi. Because we have to tie into Pride Month through this piece of nonsense. And a lot of people, when they saw this series coming, it's like, no, we don't want this. We, we do want a Tim Drink series, but not with this writer. Because this was a stupid idea. Oh yeah, Riley Russo was praises on Twitter when when, they, when he was announced as the artist, and then we saw the artwork, and oh boy, people chastised him like crazy. By pointing out though, your artwork in this book is awful. What the heck were you thinking, Riley Russo? You did a really good book with Batman Shadow. And after this, thank God DC took you off this book because I guess some people with DC must realize, so yeah, this, the artwork is bad. Like, we need we need to get him away from the Sigmata that is, is, is this awful book and put him on a better book. That book, better book being Wesley Dodd Sandman, which is a much better comic than this piece of garbage. Yes, and then, like, okay, we bring a good artist. I guess somebody says, hey, maybe we can get sales boost with, with new artists. And I guess the artist must have realized, though, after one issue, yeah, I'm not doing any more issues of the series. Goodbye, brings the replacement artist, and it's back to being bad. Yep. I hope the person who decided to greenlit this series got fired. Or at least got transferred in their position. And this proves, though, Megan Fritz Martin has no idea where a superhero comic at all. Nope. Matches DC Comics. Okay. Anyways, Matches DC Comics. Do not ever put this woman on a superhero book ever again. Because you might out the person as bi or gay. Okay? Don't ever put this woman on a book again. Because this proves the fact that she is an awful writer. Whoever hired her for this job should be ashamed of themselves for hiring a awful Awful writer. Heck, I'm not sure. Uh, here's the thing. I once basically pointed out the David uh, Purpose on Twitter 
we have a good uh, uh, like oh look it's a good writer snakes to a bad writer and he basically chastised me for it like oh she's a good writer no she's not david she's a piece of crap of a writer who basically does not know what the heck she's doing she will possibly by far the worst comic of the year I would not be surprised if, in fact, that this comic won the war, won a raz, won a version of a raspberry for how awful this book is. And in case you're curious, though, did this book make my my friend Tivia's worst comic of the year when, when when it was coming out? Oh heck yes, it did. I think it mean I think it was close, to like number one. But my gosh, this book was awful. And if we get a book for Tim Drake again, fine. He deserves another book. But without Megan Fence Martin, and do not ever, ever, ever mention the buy stuff ever again. Because this, still to this day, and a lot of people point this out though about this for about this particular idea. This is an absolute stupid idea. Because they come with anything new for Tim, so out him as buy. I hope to God someone in DC realizes, though, that this was a terrible idea. Oh, by the way, here's a little fun fact you may not know. Did you know when this happened? Now, apparently, okay, there are lower two editors and there are higher editors. The lower two editors did know about this part of the issue coming out when he was out as by. The higher ups had no idea about this. Which. Should have pointed out though, like if a higher found about about the fact that this happened, he should have been, the person should have basically said, no, 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 we're not doing this. This is a bad idea. We're disrespecting people who wrote this character. But instead, like, nah, this is fine. Tim Drake is not by. He has never been by. At all. In my honest opinion. And this is what should be done with this book and the Dark Dark Crisis Young Justice book. That these two series, along with Tim J. books from Tim J. stories from Bad Marvel Legends, should be deemed not canon and Elseworld stories. Yes. And the Elseworld being... The home of the really awful stories. Yes. And you're thinking, what, what, what about Bernard Shaw and Batman? Oh, let's just say that was just some random guy. Because nobody wants us anymore. And DC, people were big in DC not to do this. And they did it anyways. And by issue 6, people were like, please send this book. And these responses, la la la, we can't hear you. We're producing this book anyways. That was probably the response. So, my rating for this book is a negative 1 out of 10. The entire series, I give a negative 10. Because this book is a piece of garbage. And should be never done ever again like this. I don't mind Tim Drake in her book as Robin. That's fine. But not when he's by. Get rid of Bernard. DC Comics. Don't ever do this ever again. Ever. If you do. If you dare announce a book with this type of premise again. For Tim. By the way, here's a little fun fact about this book. My little comic shop did not want to basically pick this book up. You want to know why? Because they knew it was going to be bad. They knew. And here's the thing. The only way that people are going to get this comic is that they personally request to get it. Because they were never going to pick it up. They were never going to sell it. At all. I'm not sure other comic sources felt about this book, but I'm sure every people felt the same way. That this book was a bad idea. 
Heck, a friend of mine basically pointed out, basically, like, had this whole thing on Twitter. Like, ooh, Tim was missing at this penthouse, and this woman was last seen basically with them. That woman being Megan Prince Martin. Look, Megan, if you want to write again, write a black label book. Don't ever write a superhero book ever again. Moving on from that. Let's talk about something really weird. We have Way of X by Cy Spurrier. Which collects this five-issue series along with a one-shot onslaught resolution. Now, for some strange reason, Nightcrawl is put in this book. Because we apparently had no plans to feature in the main next book. By the way, the artwork is on by Bob Quinn. Uh, the third issue is Infamous. So, yeah, it's, you can think of this as a Nightcrawler solo book. He's here with Pixie. Uh, it's like a religious book, per se. Uh, at one point in the book, he reunites with Stacy X. Which is the first time he's ran into her since the Grant Morrison New X and stuff. Plus, Mac Nielsen's book, and of course, also, this is before he left uh, Kokoa. Yeah. Also, Doc Nemerson's book, where apparently he has dyed his hair. Yeah, so Doc Nemesis now looks like this. For some strange reason, his hair looks like that. Science. But there's a character that pops up in issue 3 of this book. I can find her. It's known as the Ice Cream Girl. Who, for some reason, mutant powers that she poops out ice cream. She appears as one comic and never seen ever again. Lead is here too. Of course, they just had the half hour gala. I'm trying to find the, this ice cream girl. Also, they look like a, a couple lesbians about to make out. Yeah, I, I can't find her at all, but she's in this book. Yeah, it just... This book just seems like a lot of random stuff happens until Onslaught makes a return. Yes, Onslaught is in this book. Also, Dust is here as well. Yes, Dust. For reasons. Yep, and then it leads into the Onslaught uh, Revelation one. So Onslaught comes back, and he gets killed off in this issue. Yes, Onslaught comes back first time since the miniseries Onslaught Unleashed. He's back here, and he gets killed off in this issue. Yep. He gets killed off in the Onslaught Revelation. And then the book gets relaunched as much better book known as Legionnaires. We discussed the first trade of it already. Uh, book is okay. Not terrible. It's just weird. It's like they couldn't call the book Nightcrawl. Let's call it Way of X and just explore some weird side of Koa. But I'm going to give the book roughly a 7 out of 10 because it's one thing. It's a lot better comic than Tim Jack Robin. Yep, and there's another Koa book reviewed. Yep. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the review. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do any dislike button. Uh, next up, more Sentai. Okay, next video. Bye.